Hi everyone, today we will be learning about meiosis. Meiosis is a process of reduction division of nucleus. which means the chromosome number is half from diploid to haploid. Haploid means half the normal number of chromosome. So how is it different from mitosis? Instead of creating two new cells with equal number of chromosomes like mitosis, in meiosis, the cell does a second division soon after the first in order to divide the chromosome number in half. When you have half the number of chromosomes, you call it haploid cell. Meiosis only happens when it's time for reproduction, where gamete cell is going to be made. Remember that two gamete cells will come together during fertilization. So it is logical to think that their chromosome number has to be half before fertilization happens because we want to maintain normal chromosome number for a normal cell. Meiosis also involves shuffling of the gene, which I will be showing you later. Therefore, the daughter cell is genetically different from parent cells. So the keyword here is genetically different. And hence, this creates a genetic diversity known as genetic variation. Now, let's look at the process of meiosis and how is it different from mitosis. Both process begin with four chromosomes. Green represents paternal chromosome, yellow represents maternal chromosome, which is from mother. Paternal is from father. The first step of meiosis is the same as mitosis, which is DNA replication. Each chromosome made a copy of themselves and the copy will remain attached to the original one. Now, each chromosome consists of two sister chromatids attached to each other at the centromere. Next, meiosis is a bit different because instead of all chromosomes lining up in one line as what happened in mitosis, in meiosis, the homologous chromosome pair up side by side and line up at the center of cell. Homologous chromosome means two chromosomes that control the same trait which is one from father and another one from mother. Also, there's something called synapsis where there's crossing over of gene. So, the genes are mixed up. Therefore, the end product is not a perfect duplicate like what happened in mitosis. So, now the first part of meiosis will separate the homologous chromosome.
but as you can see here in mitosis, the sister chromatids separate. So here, you will get two daughter nuclei with two chromosomes. which are genetically different. At this point, sister chromatids will be separated just like what happened in mitosis. So there's a second division where the chromatid will separate. So when it's all over, you are left with four haploid cells that are called gametes. The eventual purpose of the gametes will be to find other gametes with which they can combine. So when they do, they will form a new organism with normal chromosome number, which is diploid number. So, in conclusion, let's make it simple. Meiosis is actually a two-step division process. The homologous pair will separate during the first round of division. The sister chromatids separate during the second round of division. DNA replication happens in both mitosis and meiosis. What's different is the way they arrange themselves. And there's a synapsis and crossing over happen in meiosis. and homologous pair will divide in meiosis so when all is over you will end up with four gamete cells which are haploid in chromosome number and are genetically different from the parent cell because of the crossing over while in mitosis the chromosome number is preserved in which the end product will have diploid chromosome number